Thank you, everybody, and thank you for being here and spending a little bit of time in your afternoon with Pat and I. Pat, well, it's funny seeing you here. <laughs> well, welcome, Andy, and uh, to all of our guests and friends and colleagues, we thank you for joining us today, and we are excited to detail a, a very significant announcement that we've been working on for a while, and uh, really thrilled that you could join us today to talk about what we think is an industry-shaping announcement. All right, you ready to go? Yeah, you ready to go. Giddy up. Here we go. So I'll give you a little bit of context uh, on, on what we were thinking about together. So for the first several years of AWS, some of our enterprise customers were a little bit confused about what it meant to run hybrid in the cloud and what it meant to run hybrid in AWS. And they wondered whether they had to make this binary decision of having all of their applications on premise and none in the cloud or all of them in the cloud and none of them on premise, which of course, you don't have to make that binary decision. You can run some of your applications in the cloud and some of them on premise and some of them can interact together. And in significant part, we, we worked the last several years to help make that happen. We launched services like our virtual private cloud or VPC and Direct Connect and a storage appliance and uh, Identity Federation. And most of the big hybrid implementations today are built on top of AWS and various uh, on-prem data centers. But as more and more enterprises are now exploring the cloud and moving to the cloud, they want to be able to leverage the investment they've made in the software and the tools that they use to manage their infrastructure on-prem and be able to use that in AWS as well. And that makes complete, complete sense when you think about it. You want to use that same software on-prem as in AWS in the public cloud. You want that very tight, seamless integration, but you also want to be able to do so without having to buy more hardware or worse yet, custom hardware because companies aren't looking to actually add a lot of new hardware. They want to use what they've got and then find a way to also use the resources in the public cloud. And so customers and companies and enterprises got through that first binary decision where they realized they didn't have to run all on the cloud or all on premise. But then they were confronted with another binary decision. And if you think about it, the vast majority of enterprises in the world are virtualizing VMware. And they have gotten used to running the software and tools that VMware offers to run their on-premises infrastructure. And it, because AWS and VMware didn't provide a seamless experience and a seamless opportunity to run that same software on-prem and in AWS, they in fact did have to make a binary decision, which was, Either I use the VMware software and it's hard to actually use AWS in the public cloud, or I use AWS in the public cloud and I have to leave behind the VMware software. And understandably, customers didn't like that decision. And the vast majority of what we do at AWS is driven by what our customers tell us matters. And so Pat's team and my team started talking about this. And to share what we've come up with, I'm going to turn it over to Pat. Well, thank you, Andy. And you know, as Andy indicates, this is the result of our customers telling us what they needed and responding to customers' interest. And what they really were saying is, we need a hybrid environment. We need an environment that allows us to move to the cloud future to meet our business needs and to meet our timelines and capabilities required. Some customers, hey, they're going to be largely on-premise environments, but they still want some of that dynamic flexibility and maybe a DR environment in the cloud. Other customers are saying, mm -hmm. I'm going to exit the data center business, but I still need many of the enterprise capabilities of VMware. How do I do that? And other customers really want to have flexibility across those environments for an extended period of time, a range of hybrid requirements. And as we engaged our customers and talked about what we could do together, we were quite excited because we saw that we could bring together the best of both worlds. And today, we're thrilled to announce VMware Cloud on AWS, the best of both worlds. Bring together that dynamic flexibility combined with that enterprise grade SDDC into a single solution that we're today announcing to the marketplace. And let's just click into that a little bit more deeply. Today, this is a partnership announcement that we're announcing to deliver the VMware Cloud on AWS the best of public cloud together with the best of private cloud coming together to deliver a seamless hybrid service 
that we VMware will be presenting to the marketplace. And it's jointly architected. Beginning early this year, Andy and I challenged our team. It wasn't just connecting our products together, but how can we really create a seamless experience across those two environments. And Andy challenged his team for innovation of a new bare metal capability. We said, how can we integrate our solutions together, the complete software-defined data center, the storage, the network, compute, the management for a truly elastic, capable infrastructure service combining the SDDC with the Amazon capabilities on a global basis. This becomes the primary public cloud offering of VMware sold, supported, and delivered by VMware. And the result is we give our customers this ability to seamlessly operate across this hybrid environment that we're announcing today. And with it, we're announcing a partnership as well. This is the beginning of what we believe is a rich cycle of innovation that we believe will last for many, many capabilities that are yet to be innovated by our teams together. AWS is VMware's you know, primary public cloud partner and VMware is AWS's primary private cloud partner. The best of both worlds coming together in today's announcement. That's the news that we have for you today. I'd just like to, to close by saying that we couldn't be more excited about the partnership. Uh, we view it as an important strategic long-term partnership. And I really think the real winners in this partnership and announcement are customers, enterprises and joint customers who really want to use the investment they've made in their on-premise software and tools in VMware and be able to use that to run seamlessly in the cloud and AWS as well. And you know what we've shown is a compelling new hybrid capability, bringing the best of both worlds together, the best of Amazon together with the best of VMworld, a powerful new set of capabilities for our joint uh, customers. We think this is a fabulous day, exciting announcement with our partners at uh, Amazon. We're gonna do great things together for our joint customers. Thank you very much. Thank you.